Hey everybody, it's Deanna with ToolsOfEnergyProtection.com, your energy shift expert, and it is New Year's Eve, so <laughs> welcome everybody. I know I normally do this a little bit later in the day, but you know, a lot of us are getting together with family and friends this evening to welcome in not only a new year, but a new decade. Can you believe it? It's 2020. And we've been laughing and joking about how once we make it past the first couple of days, we can look back and have 2020 vision. <laughs> but anyway, I did want to come on uh, earlier today. So I sent out an email to those of you um, that are on the emailing system then here on Facebook Live to let you know that I, I have a few things to cover in this new decade. There's lots of information. There's lots of things going on. So right out of the gate, uh, I'd like to let you know that if you would like to get a new year prediction about your health, about your wealth or potential for it, <laughs> or a romantic situation, you can jump on over to toolsofenergyprotection.com, click on appointments, and um, I do have a, um, oops, sorry, where did I write it down? I do have a special going on for 30 minute appointments tomorrow. So I am going to be available on New Year's Day. I know a lot of you have that time off and you'd ask me if you could uh, have an appointment on your day off and so I did. So if you go to toolsofenergyprotection.com, click on personal sessions and scroll down and click on book now, it's going to um, have a 30 minute reading slot available and if you put in there when you go to check out if you put the code new year all one word squished together no spaces you will get a discount from the normal session uh, pricing so infomercial done let's get on to it so 2020 oh my gosh I don't know about you but in uh, in um, <laughs> 2019 that has had to be the most energetic shifts and the most possible if you want to say awful year I've ever had I mean just a lot of, of changes a lot of things coming at me I felt like I just couldn't keep up so if there's anybody like that tonight you know give me a thumbs up or a heart to let me know that's what happened to you too if not good you made it through <laughs> So I was talking to my guides about what's going to go on in 2020 because anytime you have the mark of a new decade, it's it's pretty exciting to be at the beginning of that. And oh, I got a thumbs up. Good. For those of you who um, are into numerology and looking ahead and deciding, you know, when are you going to get married? When are you going to have kids? When are you going to make a major event? You know, February is 0202 or 022020. <laughs> So you got a lot of twos going on in there um, that's coming up. But anyway, I digress. So uh, what's happening is um, if you think about it, there's a few things that are going on right now uh, in the world on the political scene. And I don't get political too often, but I'd like for you to know that what's happening if you are in the United States watching um, this is that in November of this coming up year, there's going to be an election. And so right now there's a lot of unsteadiness about what's going on on the world scene and with what's going on with the presidency here in, in this country. Oh, hi, happy new year, uh, Jennifer, and happy new decade. <laughs> but getting back to the political part of it, there's a lot of juxtaposition stuff going on. There's a lot of uncertainty in the rulership right now for uh, for America and again like I said I try not to get too political but I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking at what's going on now and what's going to be going on in the future because I did ask my guides about it it is really super uh, happy new year Stacy happy new decade uh, it's really unstable right now okay I'll try to focus <laughs> but there's um, uh, my guides were talking to me about what's going on right now. So no matter where you sit politically, if you look at the scene that's going on in the, our country right now, um, there's a lot of unrest about the leadership. 
and there's a direct reflection between what's going on on the world scene and what's happening in your personal life and what's happening in the universe. And that's one of the things I've done in my job for a long time is attempt to see the bigger picture. And I mean universe uh, picture, not just, you know, down here where we are. Although where we are down here, you got to pay attention to that too. But today I looked at uh, Schumann's frequency. And if you've been with me over the last few years, uh, we talked about Schumann's resonant frequency. And in Schumann's frequency, it is a measurement of the electromagnetic frequency that is on this planet that is very real. And that in, um, affects your bioelectromagnetism, your physical body. And so as Schumann's resonance goes up and down, so do our bodies and our energy bodies, including our emotions and our abilities to make decisions. And sometimes it tips us uh, over if we're having a health issue. So before the broadcast today, just uh, about an hour ago, I went and I pulled the megahertz uh, that are measured in decibels with Schumann's frequency because I wanted you to see what's happening right now which, because uh, human beings on this planet, no matter whether you're the poorest person in the world or the president of the United States or anybody in between, your, your human body is affected by the bioelectromagnetism. This is normal. And so part of what's happening on the political scene, part of what's happening in the world scene has to do with some of the energies interacting with the minds and interacting with the bodies. And this is truth, people. And I asked my guides before I came on, I said, you know, I've lost five people in my Facebook following in the last few days. And I've lost several people off my emailing list in the last few days and several people off my texting list because... I'm putting this information out there and I don't mean to offend anybody. I love everybody. If you've been with me any length of time, you know I have a big heart and I have a love and appreciation for all people because we're all struggling through the same things. But you know, this truth bomb, if you will, that I'm about to put out there on the eve of the new year and the new decade, you know, it may make you love and appreciate and value me that much more. Uh, you know, as a person that divinely channels God, spirit, or source, and it may make you go bleep and you're out of here. So either way is okay with me. I've been given a message of divine love and divine joy to share with anybody who is ready, willing, and able to watch. Thank you for that heart. <laughs> that makes me feel better. <laughs> but here's the deal. Schumann's resonant frequency, let me get my chart over here, is measured uh, in megahertz for any of those of you that deal with that. And those megahertz uh, generally, um, I'm going to mark this up so I can show you. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do Zoom yet and Facebook Live at the same time so I can show you really cool things. So, you know, sorry about that. Maybe in the future. Uh, 2020. Um, anyway, so here is the the normal. Okay, let me get this normal decibel range. You know somebody's devoted to their work if they do it whatever way they can. <laughs> anyway, so anything 30 decibels uh, in megahertz um, or below is considered normal. So what I did was I covered up everything else but what is considered normal so normal is down below this white sheet of paper and everything else is not normal quote unquote and you can see these huge frequencies up and down and up and down oh an angel must be in my office because something just fell off the wall and so we have these periods of rest and then this big period of disturbance and then period of rest and a big period of disturbance and a period of rest and this is a uh, current as of well, about an hour ago and this is December 31st uh, for about 420 and these this is what the normal one looks like here let me show you let me take the paper away so normals down here 
But if you notice that abnormal is switched with normal, and then abnormal, and then normal, and abnormal, up and down, up and down, almost looks like a castle when you look at it. And so what that does to your bioelectromagnetism, to your bioelectrofrequency, is it causes you to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And big hugs and kisses and thank you to those of you that have just joined. I'm, I'm honored that you would come on today. Um, but this up and down, what it does is it, it okay, I'm going to use some really not so pretty language. It messes with your head. It really messes with your head. And my desired outcome in my business is not to spread fear, but to spread love, to spread understanding, and to create empowered people. If you have a desire to be empowered in this decade, would you please raise your hand? Give me a thumbs up, you know, or a heart. Because 2020 is going to be about empowerment, and that's what I'm going to be teaching. That's what God's spirit source told me and my guides told me is you will be teaching personal empowerment to each and every person that we send you. That's a powerful message. But it also explains why in my life, it also explains in my life, sorry, because people were commenting here on Facebook. Why it is that in October and November and December of this year, my life, okay, get ready for the bomb, sucked. My personal life sucked. Now let me clarify. I have a beautiful daughter, most of you know, beautiful daughter, and she had some fantastic teachers that were striving to help her and all of her needs to learn, and they did a fantastic job. If they're watching, big hugs and kisses. You were amazing. My beautiful daughter is also evolving with her spiritual gifts, her awareness in her teenage years, which is not easy for anybody who's highly sensitive or empathic or spiritually gifted. The teenage years suck anyway. And I think that's why Native Americans and maybe some other cultures chose to empower their youth and take them out on vision quests during that time because that's the time that you know you've been awake and alert usually from the time you're born the time you're seven you remember a lot of things from the other side and you have access to things from the other side and when you hit age seven that's when things start to shut off and you don't remember as much and then when you hit the teenagers your hormones go crazy and let me tell you that's DNA coding from your human family so all the crap in your human lineage all the good stuff too but I'm just talking about the crap that comes out when you're a teenager so whatever your parents before you and their parents before them didn't take care of genetically anger fear anxiety phobia whatever they didn't take care of that gets stimulated in the hormones this is a natural process there's nothing bad or wrong your parents aren't bad or wrong your grandparents aren't bad or wrong this is normal people and this is stuff I've known for a while but I've held back from telling you because I was afraid get this I was afraid that it would it would offend people but God's spirit is source has told me this is it 2020 is about empowerment you have to get this stuff out there to as many people that will listen so um, happy new year to Carol thank you so much for joining and happy decade new decade um, and hi to Samantha and hi to Kelly <laughs> but that's what's going on and so sorry shiny object um, I have also a very beautiful uh, significant other has done wonderful things to support me love me nurture me and move me forward and I had a roof over my head I had food to eat and I had adequate clothing so and that's not what I'm talking about when I say 2019 sucked it's none of those things I'm grateful God's spirit source provides in the most wonderful unique and unexpected ways can I get a thumbs up if that's you if you've been provided for in the most unique ways and unexpected ways happy new year to Rachel and happy new year to Tracy 
big hugs and kisses. Good, I got some hearts and some thumbs, people get it. But how this last year sucked or bit, I hope they don't like beep out that word anyway, um, is that there were so much energetic changes. It was almost like if you've ever been in sports, if you've ever been a runner or a swimmer, and you're almost to that last mark, you're making maybe the laps, and you have one more to go, and you're so schmegging tired and you're fatigued and you have to reach down inside of yourself and pull up as much as energy as you can get to go forward to finish on that finish line whether you're first or last and you feel that momentum and it's pushing you and and you're exhausted hi Gabe. that is what 2019 was about it was the end of a decade and duh i didn't think about it but 10-year cycles are like cogs in a wheel. If you think about um, a clock, if you've never seen it, Google the inside of what a, a clock, an old antique clock looks like, or clock tower. And they're little cogs, and they go toot, 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 and then another one goes toot, toot, toot. And what's happening is in that cycle of the last decade, we were literally being turned in, if you will, the right direction. A lot of things had to be changed, ripped away, pushed away, um, ejected, a lot of those things. So if you think about the last 10 years, if you had a lot of change consistently, some things really big, uh, some things really small, that was last year because it, um, a little reveal, when I was younger, I used to have a... Uh, uh, I used to have a little um, a train set when I was growing up. I don't know if you've seen these, if you haven't, uh, nowadays Thomas the Train. But they have these wheels in the middle of the railroads. And you take your little car and you, you know, put it in the center and then you turn it and then it'll shoot it the other way. And that's the way the antique railroads were. So if you were coming in from 90 degrees and needed to go to 60, instead of having to go a big loop, they would just put you on a platform and turn you and shoot you out. And that's what this last decade has been about because it is preparing you for an amazing journey for the next 10 years. It is literally going to be reshaping you if you allow it to support you. Oh, somebody says, I'm not sure if you're burning incense in, an, in your office, but above your head, uh, there's wood <laughs> and smoke. No, actually, um, there's so much negative juju that was going on today that I have a little incense burner, if you can see that. And I had some incense in it right here. Um, this uh, wood is just wood paneling. Um, I normally don't, you know, in the picture, but today I'm on a tripod. Um, but anyways, it's just incense. Um, and it's uh, frankincense because I need the frankincense today um, with all the changes and things happening. But thank you for your loving concern. <laughs> no, I'm not going up in smoke. Well, at least not yet. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to what's happening. So everything's been going tick, 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 tick to shoot us in the right direction. And that's where I got my marching orders from God's Spirit or Source that says you've got to get people up to speed. You've got to self-empower them. So here goes. Here's the big announcement. How many of you out there are highly sensitive or empathic? If you can give me a thumbs up or a smiley face. No angry faces. <laughs> highly sensitive or empath. Give me, give me a thumbs up. Let me see ya little lag time. So I shared not too long ago in a video that I finally found the secret of why it is that people have a problem who are highly sensitive and empathic. Uh oh, I didn't get any hearts yet. So either my feed is frozen or I've lost you all. <laughs> but What's happening is that if you're highly sensitive, oh, there comes one, oh, just one, yikes, not a very good vote. Anyway, highly sensitive, empathic people, listen up. I shared this a couple of weeks ago. Oh, good, some more, thank you. I have been looking for the key to the Achilles heel of why it is 
that I get energy drainers? Why do I get energy vampires? Why did I keep having relationships, people that did nothing but drain me and my energy every time I turned around? It seemed like my entire life I'd go to work somewhere and everybody would pile all the stuff on me to do. And I'm like, why? Now I know that's not completely true, but that's how it seemed. And other places I would go to work and everybody would magnet to me to tell me all their trouble. Um, I had a roommate at one time that put her energy hooks into me when I was first learning about this. And I was exhausted all the time. And she left on vacation and my friend said, hey, I've never seen you look better. What's up? And I'm like, uh-oh, you know. So I looked at that. It was just a person that lived with me that was very energy draining. And I couldn't understand over the years why I couldn't strengthen my shields. You ever heard shields up, you know, and, and why it is that I kept being in relationships with sociopathic behavior, behavioral people or cluster B personalities or toxic people. I couldn't understand why did they magnet to me and why did I keep having relationships with them when they did nothing but drain me and exhaust me and slow me down. And so my guides finally revealed it to me that... What it is, is that if you look at the genetic makeup, the spiritual and the physical genetic makeup of a highly sensitive person, they're going to be on one end of the scale, you, you know, like um, autism. They say autism has a lot of scales. And on one end, you have severe autism and one end, you have slight autism. So there's these different ends of the scale. So I want you to take that instead of autism, we're going to go to highly sensitive person empath scale. And on one end of the scale, genetically, spiritually and physically, it's a highly sensitive person. And if you come over one tick, you get empaths, various degrees of empaths. And if you come over another tick, you get somebody that has both of those kind of deals. And then if you go over another tick on the other side of the spectrum, see if I can get this in the right order, sociopath, narcissist, psychopath, and some, they're called cluster B personalities, if you want to look them up. So what I learned and what my guides helped me to understand is that a person who is highly sensitive or empathic has the same or similar genetic makeup as somebody who's a sociopath or a narcissist. And the only difference between the two is how they were treated, the stimulus that they received growing up. And yes, some of them like me were just hard headed <laughs> and had some tenacity. But what is happening is the person who is highly sensitive and empathic means you have your antennas turned on. You're more sensitive to a lot of things. And your gut instinct for most of us told you when things weren't good or were good. Uh, they, it was, it's a barometer, if you will. It's a needle pointing north. That's the gut chakra. And so we grew up very sensitive, processing more things than most people. And we thought that was normal. Or at least I did. And then you get people over here who were also sensitive, but they were abused. They were taken advantage of, and they never got a break. And so what they did was they learned to put up walls, not shields, but walls. And so from my understanding at this moment, a sociopath and a narcissist are beautiful loving people way deep down inside they got mistreated and they put up walls and more walls and more walls and so they don't feel their emotions anymore because they're walled up they don't feel but they still have this ability to sense which is rather fascinating to me at this point who knows maybe a year from now I'll have more information <laughs> But what I'm saying to you is that the spectrum for highly sensitive empathic people is people that are adjusted or, or, you know, awake, aware, alert, and able to have feelings and emotions 
and the ones on the other side that put walls up, they still have their sensitivities, but they don't feel anymore. They're numb or empty. And so my guidance and the boss told me, you've got to teach highly sensitive and empathic people how to recognize that how to work with that, how to face their emotions, and how to release it. I talked to a beautiful woman today, one of my clients, and she said, I want to heal, but I'm afraid to face my emotions inside. And yes, it's scary. And this is why I was saying earlier that last year, in October, November, December, really bit for me, really sucked. Because that's when God started working with me to help me understand energy vampires, why I couldn't have my shields at 100%, why things were being drawn to me, why I couldn't do certain things, why I hurt, why I was so drained all the time. Because the darkness inside was not having healed from narcissistic behavior being put onto me. No, I'm not a narcissist. But what I'm saying is that narcissistic behavior is what raised me. And so my perception has been skewed. But by knowing that and reading about it is to heal, to understand it. And I, if you will, common vernacular, I had to face my own inner demons. If you're brave enough right now, give me... A thumbs up if you have inner demons, things that hurt, things you've hidden, things you don't want to deal with, but it's what keeps you weak. Oh, good. Oh, good. I got some thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> I was like to know it's not just me, but that's one reason I'm in this business. And for those of you that are just meeting me, I started a blog, I think it was eight years ago about energy shift updates. I Googled it and nobody at that time was doing it because God, Spirit, or Source told me that's what I want you to do so people like you don't think they're nuts because these bioelectromagnetic shifts affect our brains and affect our hearts. And so I started doing that. I've been doing it for years and wouldn't you know, all of a sudden all over the internet, people are popping up with energy shift forecasts and updates and all that other stuff. <laughs> So, what can I tell you? So now, I've been told this information about highly sensitive people and where they're affected. So, if you grew up with a narcissist or a sociopath or even a psychopath, as a parent or influential person in your life, you've got some damage. And that also means you've got the highly sensitive empathic gene, which is to be celebrated. Woohoo! right but it's a lot to deal with okay I'm gonna go back over here for those of you that are just joining me I got 30 uh, megahertz decibels again okay so Schumann's resonant frequency heartbeat of the earth you can look it up Schumann thank you very much for having developed a way to measure the bioelectromagnetism of the planet so that the rest of us would know we weren't nuts <laughs> So usually your range is about 30 megahertz in decibels. That's normal, cough, cough. You know, what is normal? Anyway, don't answer that. <laughs> okay, so here's 30 decibels. And I've covered up 30. And this was about an hour and a half ago now of this range. And any of the marks on there would be considered not in the normal range. They're higher. You can see the spikes. You can even see where there was a spot that was missed. So I don't know if it went off the charts or the, the guy just failed or whatever. But that's what it looks like. Then, down below this, this would be considered the normal range. But you can see the spikes. This stimulates the physical body. This stimulates the spirit body. That's enough to drive you nuts. Physical, rest, physical, spiritual, nothing in the physical, all in the spiritual. 
back to the physical, back to the spiritual, back, you know, back and forth. It just, it's enough to drive you crazy. But this is what's happening, people on the planet right now. You, if you're watching this or you're a highly sensitive person or an empath who's not watching this, this is what's happening. Our vibrational frequencies are being taken up and down. And the main reason for that is it's waking up our spiritual consciousness and it's setting in DNA changes. Okay, here's another one. Love me or don't. Your DNA contains spiritual coding as well as physical coding. The reason that your eyebrows are where they are, your nose or your mouth is because of your physical DNA. But there is a spiritual DNA coding that I've been working with for a while. And that must be another angel. Something else fell off my wall. <laughs> but, the, but the DNA coding of the spirit body was given to you at birth. Sometimes before that. And what happens is that determines how much gifts you're going to have as a highly sensitive person. Because you're already wired to be that through the, gen the physical genetics. And this is a time. This is a time for highly sensitive people and empathic people like never before to be active, to be vigilant in connecting with God's spirit or source, if that's prayer, if that's reading, whatever that is for you, because the planet is at a pivotal time of change. And it's, it's about to get real, <laughs> if it isn't already. Okay. Some history. The Mayan calendar, if any of you were around in 2012, when the Mayan calendar changed, there was a big scare. Everybody thought the world was going to end because the calendar ran out, <laughs> which is kind of funny when you think of it. But the Mayan calendar is a calendar that measures what's going to happen with the bioelectromagnetism. It shows you what's happening in the constellations because when the sun and the moon move, it shifts the bioelectromagnetism. Here, here's another one. Here's another chart, a little bit different. Okay? Looks like almost upside down, but these are the big surges, right? Because when the different planets get in different places, it's like the cogs of a clock. It goes tick, 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 tick. And that's what moves the energy surges on the planet, which affect our bodies and our minds and our spirits and help us to either move forward, poop or get off the pot, or we go back into our little shells. So the Mayan calendar ended December 21st, 2012. Think about that if you're a numerology person. That cycle is 5,126 years long. At the end of that cycle, it starts again. So if my math is correct, if it's not, somebody put it in the feed. 2020 minus 2012 is 8. If you take 8 and you turn it on its side, it's the infinity symbol. This is where we are aligning ourselves with what's going to happen to us, with us, and for us into infinity. I don't mean to scare you, and I know that's heavy, and some people say it's woo-woo. Congratulations, it's woo-woo. But it's what's happening. The infinity symbol. Where do you want your life to go over the next year, over the next decade, or until you choose to exit the planet? We are aligned with the most beautiful creative energies. That's why spiritual people and, and star children have been waking up all over the place for the last 10 years. Because it is our time to move this planet forward in peace and love and harmony. And I'll be very blatant. I'm not talking about politics. I'm not talking about the leaders of this world. I'm talking about the frequencies and the shifting and the enlightenment of humankind and the spirits and the souls that are in our bodies. That's what I'm talking about. I hope that's not too deep for you. Anyway, in eight months from Christmas Eve, this last Christmas Eve, in about eight months, there's going to be another huge dynamic 
energy shift. What's going to happen on the planet? Don't really know. Don't like to predict too much of the future because the future is always changing. But what I do know is that if you are not rooted and grounded in your connection with God's spirit of source, however that works for you, and you don't have yourself aligned and participating in as much self-love as you can muster, the other side of that's not going to look too good. Thank you. Uh, oh, Deanna. Another Deanna. She said, <laughs> amen. Thank you. And I'm not, you know, speaking doom and gloom and saying, okay, well, if I don't work myself in eight months, I'm going to end up in the toilet or on the street. That's not what I'm saying. But think about this. God, spirit, source, my angels, my guides talk to me. Sometimes I listen to them and I take their advice and things turn out great. Sometimes I ignore them. Not so great. That's what I'm saying. So do what you need to do to love yourself and align yourself. Now. There were some people that asked me if I was going to be down at the For Heaven's Sakes bookstore in Denver tomorrow. The answer is no. I will be there the next day, which is Thursday. Today, I went on to toolsofenergyprotection.com, click on personal sessions. You've got to scroll down a little bit. I'm working on that. <laughs> and it says buy now, and you can click on there. And there are half hour sessions available. And when you go to check out, if you type in there new year, all one word, no spaces, it will give you a discount so that you can get a discounted session because I know some of you have been wanting to try this for a while. You've been sitting out there uh, in, um, you know, cell phone media land <laughs> watching me. You want to know what's going to happen for your health, your wealth, your romance? You need a little energy clearing to get rid of the crap that's come to the surface? Now's the time to jump on. You can book an hour in there if you like. You can book any time you like. But this is it. This is a special I'm running. I'm taking some time to help everybody. It's going to start about 10 o'clock in the morning. I've already had one person book. And the last time I did this, it went real super quick. So make sure you jump on there if you have any problems. If you're on Facebook, message me and say I couldn't get on. We'll work out a time for you. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, go to toolsofenergyprotection.com. Click contact and get a hold of me through there. But this is it. This is the defining moment. So what does that mean to you? That means, and I've got to wrap this up quickly. <laughs> Almost five o'clock, got some dinner to make. But what that means to you is that I am going to start teaching a lot more things than I used to. I'm going to start sharing a lot more things. And I have got right now on my drawing board something about um, working through people that have had narcissistic parents, sociopathic parents, psychopathic parents, or influencers that are beautiful creatures that keep drawing energy vampires or toxic relationships to for themselves and they don't understand why it has a lot to do with frequency. And I'm going to start out by working with those people. I will offer a package and I will work with you one-to-one. -one. And that's how we're going to do it until we get, you know, everybody where they need to be. And I will take on as many people as I can. And I will put out more videos on those specific subjects and post them up so you can see them. So you can know, is this for me? But I'm going to share with you, if you have a lot of anxiety, if you have a lot of phobias, if you go around waiting for the other shoe to drop all the time, if you're attempting to be successful in business and you push and you push and you push and something just isn't right and you can't seem to make it to that next level, if you're in sales and you've got money consciousness issues, you probably have a cluster B personality that raised you or was influential and you've got to free yourself and you've got to wave the banner of self-love and that can be tough and that's what I'm going to be working with people in 2020. And I will make an announcement here, wherever here is, Facebook, YouTube, my website, and let you know how to get signed up and what that looks like. In the meantime, if you have questions, let me know. But again, if you're stuck in business, if you keep drawing people that are toxic in your life, not to be rude, but alcoholics, 
there are some people in my client base and they date an alcoholic, they break up with the alcoholic and they're right back in another relationship with another alcoholic. It's because your little barometer, your heart and your gut chakra are off. Your gut chakra got beat up when you were younger and you were told that you were wrong when you knew you were right. And that's what's causing you not to be able to move forward in a lot of places in life. So with that, and knowing that I have another engagement, <laughs> my desired outcome again is not to put fear in anybody's heart. It's to send you love and to give you information. My desired outcome is to teach you how to help yourself. If you're ready to help yourself, thumbs up hands up something and I'm going to be narrowing down who I'm working with over this next year because the desire is to get as many foot soldiers as I can as many highly sensitive people and empathic people healed and upright and ready to bring this world into the newest greatest dynamic it has ever seen on the spiritual platform that's where we are now people so I love each and every one of you. I'm going to, I've seen that a couple people dropped out, so maybe it's too long or they just didn't like my message. <laughs> but as, as uh, I'm bringing this to a close, what happens is I will repost this. It'll be available on Facebook so you can uh, watch the replay. Remember to go to toolsofenergyprotection.com. If you're interested in getting a 30-minute discounted session, click on Book Now. It'll take you right on over. You click out 30-minute appointment. Pick the time you want. If there's a time still available, that, like I said, they went so fast last time, and you type in the word New Year for your discount code, no space, N-E-W, uh, you can't even spell your Y-E-A-R, all one word. And it'll take you over to um, a discounted uh, session. You can pick out what you like there. So, uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, Stacy. She says uh, that uh, Kevin laughs every time I do. I've been told I have an infectious laugh, and uh, praise be to God for that because it is through his love, his joy, and his compassion in my life um, that I have laughter. And, uh, yeah, New Year is the code. Yep, exactly. So, Happy New Year. Happy New Decade. I can't wait to roll out this new, I wanted to do a webinar, a class, but I'm thinking it's going to be better to do it one-on-one -on -one and really help you to break free of these chains of anxiety, fear, phobia, depression, not feeling good enough, not having self-love. That's what I am going to be about for 2020. Yes, I will still talk to dead people. Yes, I will still talk to angels. Yes, I will still talk to guides. But the boss has told me I've got to champion as many people as I can and free as many impasse and highly sensitive people from the chains that have bound them for so long. Big hugs, big kisses. If you know anybody who's in this situation, please share this video with them. Please let them know that I am here to serve them and to empower them and to restore their self-worth their self-love, and their self-value, because as soon as you have that, your world changes so dynamically. Happy New Year. Happy New Decade. I'll see you here Tuesday Night Live next week. Tune in here on Facebook or go to toolsofenergyprotection.com uh, and I will post when that time will be. It should be at 7.30 Mountain Time. So have a great and wonderful night. Big hugs and kisses.